So are you saying that you sell drugs? I don't sell drugs. I sell these pills. These pills where it's at. Do you want one? You no, sure? No, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Because they can't you out. Yeah, it's okay. I don't want anything. She ain't going to be snitching, is you? You going to tell my mom, is you? I mean. I mean, look. You know what I'm saying? I can break you off right there. No. It's okay. You can keep your money. You sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'll try to put some bread in your pocket and help you out, girl. Because I know it's hard out here, you know. I appreciate it. Okay, so again, you are 16, mm -hmm. you are in high school, you don't really have any goals or plans, and at this point, mm -hmm. you don't know if you want to go to college, you saying that you want to work for MARTA. Maybe MARTA, I don't know. I can't really be selling these pills and work for MARTA, but then, you know, that brought in my market, because that's the whole city, so okay. I don't know. And then you were diagnosed with ADHD at age 13, but you haven't taken any medication since then? Nope. But mom know. thinks you're taking the medicine. Yeah, she thinks I take it. Okay. And yeah. you are seeing the doctor regularly? Mm-hmm. Okay. He think I take it too. Okay, so in in your family, can you tell me, um, is there anyone else who has been diagnosed with any type of mental illness or ADHD? Um, not that I know of. Um, my daddy, he be smoking weed and I seen him snorting a little powder and stuff, you know. Um, you know, I ain't trying no powder with you know, I ain't really tried none of that. That ain't for me. You know, I stick with these pills because they cool. You know, he be killing himself with that stuff. I don't know how mom be sticking with him. Well, yeah, he be doing that stuff. So is your mom aware that your dad does use substances? I don't know. I would hope so. I know. Okay. She should. Okay. He be acting crazy. So does I dad or know. mom know that you sell medication? Nah, my mama would kill me, man. What you talking about? Okay. She would kill me, man. You, you see me? What you talking about? <laughs> Okay, but this is something that you decide to do on your own. Yeah, because I go to the school with all the white kids, and they be getting it up. That's how, you know, they be snatching them up. So I got to do what I got to do. Okay, so at this point, um, I do appreciate you for coming in and being so open and honest with me today because a lot of stuff you had, did disclose, you didn't have to. Right, right. So I appreciate that. Um, and we'll be meeting on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, I think our, our sessions are scheduled to be um, once a week for the next six months. So we'll be discussing some of these things that you brought to my attention today. Six months, I know it seems like a long time, but we have some things that we do need to work on. So I'm gauging, you know, right around a six month period. Um, if things are, you know, going well and we see that we can terminate sessions sooner than then, then maybe that's a possibility. But right now we're going to just focus on about six months. Okay. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to bring mom back in just so that I can discuss with her a couple of recommendations. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. She says she won't talk to you, mom. So. Hey there. Kim said you wanted to talk to me? Yes, I do. If you could have a seat for me, please. Oh, okay. So roughly what we're looking at here is going to be about a six month treatment process. Um, I'll meet with Kim once a week for approximately the next six months. If I see where she is improving, things are getting better, sessions you know, can terminate a little bit early, but we want to focus on about a six month range for right now. Um, a couple of things that she have disclosed with me and um, is, is bringing me to be um, concerned is number one, dad drug use. Do you know that your or well, she is alleging that your husband is using drugs in the home? Well, he told me he stopped. So he told me he stopped. Okay. So she that's one of the things that she did, you know, discuss with me and then her selling drugs. I know that there was What? Some, yes. Selling drugs. She actually has some pills on her. So you may want to speak with her later on. I didn't come for Okay. Her today. Ho 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 ho. Heels on her selling drugs. What do you mean? Yes, she has a little blue container in her oh. pocket um, of some pills that she says she sells at school. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Yeah, so I didn't take them, but I do want you to speak with her tonight about it and see. Oh my goodness. If we can get to the root of that. Okay, I will. Okay. Um, the other thing that we'll be working on with her is trying to find some type of extracurricular activities. Um, getting her set up for a range of um, what she wants to do after high school, maybe college, work-wise, and things of that nature. So we'll be working on those skills as well. Okay, well, anything, because when I talk to her about it, she says she didn't know what she wants to do. Okay. So that sounds good. Okay. All right, well, I appreciate you guys for coming out today. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.
Thank you so oh, much. You know what, Miss Kim, one more thing I want yes. to let you know. Kim did disclose with me that she has not taken any medication, that you are giving her her ADHD medication, but she's not taking it. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? Yes, and that could be one of the reasons that she feel. I talked about oh. poor decision and being able to make decisions, right. but without that medicine, she's not able to focus in school or do anything. So just be on the lookout, you know, that she takes that medication daily. Well, I've been giving it to her, so what do you recommend I do now? Maybe sit with her until she takes it. Don't just give her the pill and walk away because that, you know, she's not taking it. Okay. Oh, my gosh. This yeah. is giving me a migraine. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Right. Have a good day. All right. Thank you.